Well, here we are. We we just I I I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know. This 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 week too had so many injuries, injuries abound. And I mean, let's talk about those first. It's mostly due to the running backs. Yeah, we we we, we got a lot of backs out. Nick Chubb done for the year, hurt ankle, and more. No, Char- uh, Saquon Barkley. I almost said Charles. Saquon Barkley. He's hurt, you know, ankle sprain for a couple weeks. Austin Eckler's been banged up. Jamal Williams got hurt with his hamstring. The only guy that's really doing anything, you know, as far as running backs go, is like Christian McCaffrey. He's been on a tear. Like, wow. But that is that really surprising that CMC is on a tear? Not, not really. Um, Chargers, Vikings, Broncos, you know, teams like that. How are these teams 0-2? I have no idea how these teams are 0-2. Chargers, especially, just incompetence on the on both sides of the ball. Brandon Staley is not him. The Vikings, I don't understand either. Just, I don't get it. The Broncos, like, the Hail Mary was there. It's just, you know, the refs missed the call. I mean, what, what what can you say about that? I mean, there's also, you know, other teams that are banged up as well, like the Bengals, you know, Joe Burrow and company just haven't been doing too well. Baltimore ended up cooking that defense with a balanced attack, which is some very surprising. You know, you think Baltimore would run the ball a whole lot, but no, nah, that did not happen. Um, again, Nick Bosa, the 49ers, and the rest of the 49ers defense, uh, Micah Parsons, Cowboys defense, just really good. Um, but the difference between the 49ers and the Cowboys is, is the 49ers have been able to get things done. They've been able to get more and more touchdowns, I feel, than the Cowboys have. I feel like they've been able to get more production than the Cowboys have. That's the difference between these two teams right now. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to say anything too crazy, but I'm just being real. I'm just being real. It feels like the 49ers have gotten more done with what they have, the Cowboys have right now. I'm just saying that. Um, Seattle and Detroit, they had a tremendous game. Refs did their thing, though, to do Detroit dirty like they always do. You know, another missed call. Again, it's, it's a running theme with the NFL. You know, the refs just being the refs, not doing their job properly, not calling things the way they should be calling them. Um, the Patriots, they were able to fight back, but they still lost to the Dolphins. Definitely because of Raheem Mostert, though. That was these something. He was something else. He went off on the Patriots. Um, the Saints. That defense is top notch. Derek Carr. All he has to do is just enough. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. You know, look like a hero or anything like that. Just do enough in that game. You know, against Carolina. Carolina. You know, just couldn't get the ball rolling at all in this game. That defense for the Saints. Definitely one of the best I think I've seen in quite some time. You know, um, and then Pittsburgh, I don't know how they beat the Browns, but then again, the Browns are the Browns. They decided to be incompetent. I, I just don't understand. So that's week two in a nutshell. Um, week three, um, there's some things that are ongoing and some things that have happened earlier in the day before I started recording this, like Cam Akers becoming a Viking. You know, he's been – He's been unimpressive in L.A., you know, as of late. What is he going to do on the Vikings who have been able to run the ball? And Kirk Cousins has been on fire, so I don't I don't understand the trade, but I get but it's whatever. It's whatever, you know. Um, the Bears organization, just a disaster. I made a poll about, you know, what they should be doing on offense because Justin Fields is not that guy. And I've been saying things like that, but nobody wants to listen to me about, you know, we don't need to we need to develop more quarterbacks and let them sit for like a couple of years instead of, you know, just throwing them out there. But it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, Alan Williams, he got some conflicting stories. He actually resigned. He was the defensive coordinator for the Bears. And, he, you know, there was there's been all sorts of stories that have been, you know, popping up over the past three or four hours about him. Not even going to go into those. You can look into those yourselves on social media. 
Um, I'm wondering if Sean Payton and Russell Wilson can get this thing together for the Broncos. Like, come on. They got they to get it together. Like, something's got to give here. We don't know if the Giants are going to be okay without Saquon for a couple weeks. One would think Daniel Jones would have to throw more. And that's probably what's going to happen, especially against the 49ers, who are tough, tough, tough. Atlanta, Detroit. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting to see what Atlanta can do with the ball distribution. That's been the main thing that's been a lot of people's concern for the first two weeks. You know, guys like Kyle Pitts, Drake London have been getting the ball. You know, Tyler Algier and B. John Robinson have been splitting carries. Um, so you know, there things like that. You know, have been the problem for Atlanta so far, despite the fact that they're undefeated. Montez Sweat, Chase Young. Rest that defense for the Washington Commanders. Take on Buffalo and Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. And basically, what is the Sunday game of the week? Real that's the real game of the week. If you're not, if you don't have that game on in your area, which I don't know why we're getting we we in Dallas are getting the Jets and the Patriots because the Jets are terrible and the Patriots are, you know, not that great either, but fine, whatever. Uh, the Bills, that old line has to hold up completely. And pain is also there. I mean, you know, it, it's just a clean sweep on that Washington defensive line. How are they going to hold up? That's the biggest question. Um, you know, Sam Howell has been doing a lot better. But, again, the rest of that, uh, that, that, that defense, they are no slouch. Buffalo has to give it their all in this one. And then Baker Mayfield – He's looking a lot better. I wonder, can the Bucks keep this up against the Philadelphia Eagles, who've been playing pretty good football? It's also two Monday night games again. Um, the other is the Rams and the Bengals. But, again, who wants to see that? Not me. I'm going to watch it anyway. So, in any case, everybody, that's going to do it from here. Uh, I know I've been delaying the, the inevitable for so long, the whole indoor arena football up been delaying that for so long and i'm gonna have to delay it again um more has come out and i really want to wait and let things you know soak in a little bit before i decide to make a video about it so just wait a little longer on that we're gonna wait a little longer on that front um next time you see me will be on sunday afternoon sunday in the evening sometime it'll be me recording like literally after the sunday get afternoon games are over trying to get it done before the Sunday night game which is the PLA championship the man cup the NL draft and anything else lacrosse related for the final lacrosse video of the year yeah I know I axed one of those videos but you know due to the time you know just not being on my side so gotta gotta keep going gotta keep moving so until until um, Sunday night, I will see you all later. Take care. Have a good night. Peace.